Good evening, this is Tina. This video, we are gonna get some hands-on experience on how to apply MVC, this is a pattern in our project. Okay, so let me move my gesture a little bit, okay. <coughs> so in this demo, we will do is uh, when I click submit, it will do something. Okay, it will. Uh, we will see some of the information I, we put it here gonna be changed. Okay, and I forgot to tell you, uh, if you follow my entire Node.js tutorial, you probably see the other form, <coughs> other product form I changed. I really couldn't stand that ugly form. So I go to the bootstrap and a copy of form and the meta change, okay? Just to have a better style, but the content is exactly the same, okay? I don't go, I want to go through. So now let's start. Uh, when I go to add product, it's already displayed this page. So the next step is when I click the button, it should work, okay? Uh, but before that, let's take a look at our course first. Because now, where is this add product EGS been rendered? It's inside our admin.js. See our admin.js? When we make a call to slash admin slash add product, it will render this uh, sorry, render this ad product, this EJS. And uh, as we talked in previous video, the controller should uh, control what's going to be displayed on the view, okay? Not the routers, okay? So we have to move this piece of information outside these uh, uh, routes. Instead, we should put in the controller. Okay, so now let's put a controller here. Okay, controllers, and here we will do an admin controller. Okay, let's use an admin controller. Okay, and in the admin controller, we have to cut this information and put in the admin controller. This is a middleware. Middleware is a function. So we just expose this function, okay? Get product pay, uh, get product equals, get product form, okay, equals this one. So we expose this uh, uh, middleware, which is actually handling this uh, slash admin slash add, add product request in the controller, okay? And if you don't understand this one, go back to my tutorial, okay? I, I'm talk about this one. And now, based on our diagram, our routes will use this controller. What does it mean use? Which means uh, require, okay? First, in our routes, we will require this admin controller. Okay, here we are using what's thing? Uh, require, yes. Admin, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Current is admin.js, which is on the routes, right? On the routes have admin.js. We have to get the admin.js under the controller. So how to do that from here to here? So we have to get out of the routes, this folder, which is two day six. Then we can go controller, then we can go to admin.js. So here we are double double slash, go to controller slash admin, okay? And now we have admin controller. We just change here to be admin controller dot get the product form. Okay, now our MVC is done on these two parts. These two parts is done. We have routes using controller. Controller gonna use to display the view. We haven't reached model yet, okay? So we finish view control, controller part, okay? 
see here we have a routes use the controller and the controller will render the view and this is the data controlled by our controller okay good the next step is to test if everything works why is my terminal okay this is my terminal i delete this one my application is still running and go and check if this add product works after i made the change okay slash add product everything is working as before so next step is this button okay this button when i click this button where it is submit now okay go to add product when i click submit button it will submit to slash admin add product and the method is a post okay for different requests it can have a same url okay and we can just differentiate those requests using the http method so for get me get method uh get request post request put a request delete request they can have same url okay so here our post request and our get request using same url so take a look at where is the routes handle this request admin i have a post request right handle for admin uh add product the admin part is here the admin is uh, here admin is this part okay so it's a domain post and we have to do as before this piece of information has to extract and put inside our controller post product okay oh i just i copied it right i copied it just put it here then in our here we just using a domain controller dot post product in our routes okay okay so here we just moved here and now let's see if we can get every information from request body okay so go and uh, we can do a refresh and here we add a title title is node.js price this tutorial is free and the image url image url let me find an image url how can i find the image url okay uh, let's go and go to uh image i think the image we are looking for is seven multiply what seven let, let's go to the home page okay seven multiply 400 let's uh i should prepare before let's see if we have online image url is this size okay image this one okay then uh let's go uh this is beautiful oh oh i know where it, this is in uh is this 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 place in uh singapore because i watched uh, twice the my favorite girl group right this is not a good Hey, why to go here? Go here. Open image. Open in a new tab. Okay. This one. Copy image address. Let's see if I can copy here. Okay. Ah, oh, perfect. So I was gonna use this one. Go back. Okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. And put an image here. Okay. Image URL. Okay. And description uh this is a good uh, tutorial okay <laughs> then submit and uh, watch the what ch watch the changes here okay submit okay now we submit successfully right which is as we expected in the request body we get all the informations here okay which is what i submitted and uh, now we have to store all those information somewhere right we have to store first before we storing we on we, we before we storing we have not .js zero this url and this do we store like a piece of piece information just store this string and this string and this string this string somewhere it's not a good idea we should store the entire thing as an object right in our database in the future 
Okay, so currently we are stored in the memory. Okay, but we cannot just store like this piece of string, this piece, this piece of string. So in our MVC, we said the model is used to encapsulate our data. Okay, and then for now, we will create a model to encapsulate all the data for the product. Okay, so we will create another folder called uh, models. Okay, and here we will create a new file called uh, product.js. And now we create a class which is called a uh, product. Okay, oh, sorry, this is a class. And we have constructor title, uh, price. Image, URL, and the description. And then we will do this dot, uh, this dot, uh, title. Okay, equals title. This dot, uh, sorry, sorry. Price equals price. This dot, image URL equals image dot URL. This oh my god, this dot description equals description. Okay. So now I have a model. Okay. If I want to use this product inside our controller, how would we do? We have to export this one, right? What we can do is let's make it easier for you guys to read. M O D U L E module dot exports equals product. Okay, we are export. We are exports this product constructor. Then what here we can do? Yes, we can require this here. Product equals require. Okay, uh, here we are on controller domain. We have to go back to date six, then go to models, then you can find it. So dot dot, go back to date six, then we go to models, then we can find the product, okay? And here, okay, here what we can do is uh, we can using const title equals request body dot title okay what is this key this key must to match add product the value of this name must match here okay this is the key value pair the key must to be this one okay let's go here okay const image url equals request dot body dot it's better you uh, copy this image url like this okay and then i'm oh, sorry semicolon const price equals request dot body dot price okay const description equals equals request dot body dot description okay make sure those key are the value of the name attribute not the id attribute name attribute and then we can create an object product right equals how to create a bot using new product this product is the one we require which is this class okay it's gonna be title price price image url and description so we follow this one to give title price image url description so new title price Okay, image URL and uh, description. Okay, and now we have to save somewhere, right? Where to save? Uh, later on, we will talk about uh, MongoDB to save into the database. But now we just save in the memory. So what I'm gonna do is uh, here, I will create, uh, you can also save into the file, okay? You can have a file system to save that. We just save into the memory here. Uh, products okay we have an uh, empty array here at the beginning so how to save how can I save to here we can do is create a save method 
Okay, in the same method, uh, sorry. Okay. Okay, just uh, uh, just uh, leave it like this. In the same method, we can reach these products. Okay, how can I add things in the products in an array? We can have method called uh, push. This, okay. This will represent an instance of a uh, uh, product. So how to use that one? What we can do? Yes, using prod dot save. Product is an instance of prod is an instance of product. So it's an instance of this product. So it can call this instance method save. And this is this here. It's gonna be represent prod. Okay, so it's gonna get all the values pushed there. So next one, yes, I want to do, yes, I want to see if all the products is pushed successfully, right? We make another method here called get all. Or you can call find all. That's a common name, okay? And return products, which is return this object. What is this static here? Static here means to in order to call this find all method, I don't need to have an instance of product. I just using the class name dot find all to see. So now let's do it here. What I'm gonna do is console.log product dot get did I use in get or find all? Oh, short memory find all okay 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 and uh, let's take a look at I will comment this one okay and uh, see what's gonna be in the array okay um, let's go to go to our browser and I will go to uh, admin add the product okay oh yo. add product Okay, this is our other product page, right? We give title another JS, give price very expensive, one thousand. Okay, image you are use the one we give, and description is very good. Okay, and submit. Okay, good, and we see save successfully, which is we send here, and now here save products. Uh, oh, sorry, save product is a log by this one, and it go inside the second log is an array. Do you see this bracket? Br uh, bracket is array, which is returned by find all. So now the product information I just entered is saved successfully in our array, right? In memory. So that's it for this step. Okay, for next step, we're gonna display every product in our page. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Hope you understand. Oh, did I summarize? Oh, I didn't summarize. Let me summarize. Okay, sorry, let me summarize. So here, where is MVC? Here we have a model M, which have our model, okay, the class which hold the object. And then we have our controller, okay? Here is our controller, the main controller. Control what kind of information related to the view, okay? And what is a view? Did you see here render add product? This is our view, which is a dynamic, okay? And our routes, our routes here using the controller. So now it match our diagram, MVC, model, view, controller, and the routes using the controller. Finally, I think I'm done for this video, okay? Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.